Hey everyone, Raven Rose here, and today I'm going to be doing a money and finance reading. This video is going to be for all the air signs, so if you are a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, then this video will be for you. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and we can get started. Okay, air signs. Let's see what we have here for you. Okay, so the whole, the overall tone for this reading is I'm feeling is about competition and comparison. So for your Gypsy Oracle, you have the card Foe. And this card is about exactly what I just said, competition and comparison. So, and there's a few cards here that, um, um, what's the word? <laughs> uh, that clarify that, um, that this reading is about competition and comparison. So for your current um, financial situation, and your relationship with money, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you may be currently, when it comes to your money, your finances, your career, um, you may be very secretive about what you have or what you don't have. And this could be, be because you're constantly in competition, maybe with coworkers or people around you, depending on what you do for a living or what you plan to do. Um, or you may be worried about people trying to steal your ideas. You may be worried about people that um, are trying to copy you or um, just take your place in your career or job or whatever you do, or you could be someone that does that. You could be someone that does take the ideas of others to use it to your own gain or profit. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could be someone doing that to you, or it could be you fearful of that. So, and if that's so, if you're fearful of that, then that makes you secretive about what you have or what you don't have or what you plan to do or not do, you kind of like just hold all that information in because you don't really trust people around you. You could be very slick and quick-witted. Um, you could be a student or maybe possibly thinking about going back to school or going to school to study something new. But overall, you're just kind of like... Um, you cut, you keep all your information to yourself because you're worried about competition in your work field or your workforce or your business or whatever it is that you do. And that's currently, and then your relationship, your core beliefs and feelings about money currently is you feel like you constantly have to compete for it you feel like you have to fight for it, for your job, for your career, for your finances, for your, whatever it is, your business. You feel like you're constantly in competition, constantly having to fight for it. Um, or you could be having an inner conflict with yourself, maybe unable to make a decision in your goals or in your plans for your future, uh, for your career, your job your business ventures, whatever, you're having a hard time decide and making a solid decision as to what to do next or where to go or um, exactly what you want. And this can be bringing up some anger within you. So you could be having some anger, like feelings um, of being angry around your finances and money and career. 
Um, this can also speak of possible like legal negotiations coming up or court disputes. But um, as far as your core beliefs and feelings about money right now, it's a lot of inner conflict um, or even conflict around you, competition, and feeling like you're constantly in competition with others. And then what's causing this, what's causing you to feel this way in your past influences here, you have temperance in reverse. So in the past, you may have been very out of balance with your finances. Um, again, this speaks of being in an atmosphere of constant competition around you. And you could have in the past felt like, you know, there wasn't enough hours in a day. And now this could be far past, or this could be recent past. Um, so you felt like there wasn't even enough time in the day to do everything that you needed to do. Um, you may have tried to do too much and spread yourself too thin and when you did this, you scattered your energy and this made you become imbalanced. And it created an imbalance in your finances, in your career. So instead of putting all your energy into one thing, one goal, you kind of scattered yourself into all different things and, and it caused an imbalance in your career or your money. Um, you may have overspended in the past, um, an imbalance in your finances where you just weren't budgeting your money right, you were overspending, um, you having poor judgment financially could have made a lot of decisions that you regret now. Um, this can also speak of being in a relationship with a partner that maybe you're both in the same line of work and there was a form of competition between the two of you, even if it was unspoken, um, a competitiveness or not, or maybe just comparing yourself to them. Maybe one worked harder than the other. And you noticed that like, if you, if you were the one with more responsibility or if they were the one and it's like comparing yourselves to each other, or you were comparing yourself to them. It's an imbalance in the past, and this is what's influencing where you're at now and how you view money and the conflict that you may be going through with the inner conflict, unable to make a decision, um, feeling angry, um, out of balance, and constantly comparing. This is all stemming from the past decisions that you made and the imbalances there. Um, so s currently your spiritual connection to money or relationship with money and the lessons that you need to learn, you have the full upright. So I feel like this is saying that you need to take a leap of faith. So right now you may be having all this conflict about what to do next or what you want to do or you know, anything with your career and competition. And this is saying that you need to learn to take a leap of faith, take a risk. Um, don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about constantly comparing yourself to other people and trying to, you know, always win the competition. Um, you have a new journey beginning here and you're feeling optimistic at the same time, or you need to channel that and try to be optimistic about it. And you kind of like with this card, you kind of just want to throw the rule book out of the window. Um, you may have been too, you know, just trying to do everything too much by the rules. Maybe you need to ease up a little bit, take a risk, do something different. Um, something unconventional that you may be not even thinking of right now, or you may meet someone that is more unconventional, that inspires you, someone that does something more free spirited and goes after something they love, um, 
to do and maybe they inspire you to do the same and it makes you like kind of start to brainstorm about that and want to take a risk and change and change things. And the action needed <clears throat> for the change, we have the page of pentacles in reverse. So this can speak about um, you may need to try to communicate better with other people, you need with your coworkers or business partners or you know whatever in your financial life. You you may need to check your mood a little bit. Maybe you've been very moody lately. I'm sensing some anger here. So you want to get your mind straight, get your mind right, get balanced. Um, money may be tight right now and you may be paying a lot of bills, but that's okay. You got to do what you got to do. You got to clean up the messes that you possibly have made in the past and, and take a risk with something that you enjoy to do, something that you love um, stop worrying about comparing yourself to what everybody else is doing or competing with people around you and just find your, your place and you'll, you will, when you let that all go and find balance in your finances, which, you know, right now you might be having to buckle down and just pay your bills and, <clears throat> not spend so much and try to clean up any little messes that you may have made um, and to get control of your mental clarity so that you can make better decisions, you know, watch your mood, try to stay optimistic about the future. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you, my air signs. I hope this resonated for you. If not, that is okay. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.